Well, TF2 fans are doing that thing again where they take any shred of information from Valve and blow it so heavily out of proportion that the air pressure is large enough to stun a yak. Yeah. For those unaware, Gabe Newell did a press conference thing, I guess, in New Zealand where he answered a couple of questions about Team Fortress 2. He was asked two simple questions. Is TF2 being worked on and are they aware of the bots in the game? And Gabe Newell gave two very short and simple responses. We have updates coming for Team Fortress 2, and they are aware of the bots, and think that they have solutions for it. That's it. Nothing else was said. But of course, as is per usual, people are now expecting more than what was said. Now listen, I'm not here to rain on the parade or like shut people down from being excited or hyping this up or whatever. It's just a thing that happens anyways. Believe me, I'm excited too. I, I'm just excited that the existence of Team Fortress 2 was verbally acknowledged by Valve for the first time in a very long time. And that they are aware of the bots and appear, appear, big air quotations, to be working on it. I just want to give my more... I guess, level-headed perspective about this in the midst of what's currently an ocean of crap being thrown around about this. So, yeah. Let's think about what Gabe Newell said. He said, We have updates coming for Team Fortress 2. This is a very generic and safe answer to give when asked the question, Are you working on Team Fortress 2? What's he gonna say? Is he gonna say, no, we're not working on Team Fortress 2, a video game that currently earns us a lot of money throughout the year? Of course he's not going to say that. And yeah, sure, he could have just as easily said, no, we are currently prioritizing other projects right now, but that would have also, you know, had a negative impact. So naturally he's not going to say, no, we're not working on the game. Of course he's going to say, yeah, we have updates coming for the game. But we have updates coming could mean anything. It doesn't mean that we have something new on the way. Nothing was guaranteed. Nothing. It could just be more of the same seasonal updates that we would otherwise normally expect from TF2 during Halloween and Christmas time. It could just be more of the same expected small patches we get whenever a problem arises in the game. Continued minor, minimal impact amounts of support on Valve's part. Or, or it could potentially be new content. But. We simply do not know anything. We know nothing. As for the bots, they said we have possible solutions for the problem. I think this statement is a lot more impactful than the, the one about the updates. This at least shows us that Valve is addressing the problem at hand and that they appear to be working on solutions for it. Beyond that, we have no idea what else they're doing or what they're working on, as is per usual with Valve practice. They never tell us what they're working on, they never tell us what's coming, and they never say a goddamn word. It's what they've always done, and it shocks me that people still take whatever they say and they just blow it so heavily out of proportion. I just... It's, it's the same song and dance we've been doing for the same fuck, like, fucking 20 years. God, stop! Listen, the point I'm trying to make is that we shouldn't suddenly expect something new when we have absolutely zero information about it. We know nothing about when an update is coming. We know nothing about what is going to be in these updates. We only know when it arrives at our front virtual doorstep and it presents itself to us. But before that moment, we know jack shit, as we have always pretty much known. Naturally, as is with any other internet fan base, group, community, whatever the fuck you want to call this at this point, a variety of content creators are now fluffing the hell out of what Gabe Newell said, exacerbating things to imply that they know what is coming for Team Fortress 2, and that we're gonna get new TF2 content. These dipshit news channels and fucking clickbait YouTubers are just cashing in on the hype by speculating about when an update is coming or what's gonna be in the update. Oh, it's amazing! It's absolutely crazy! It's everything we've been waiting for! They're simultaneously exaggerating things, spreading misinformation, and in some cases, flat out lying when they know absolutely nothing and are providing absolutely nothing of substance for us to hear. Not that it's any different than what they normally do in the first place. These people know absolutely nothing about what is coming to Team Fortress 2. 
whatever speculation they state, whatever thoughts they spew out of their mouths, whatever evidence they provide, none of it is confirmed. None of it is true. It's all speculative, yet they spin it in the form of absolutes and truths so they can fluff up what they're saying and they can get more views and spread their clickbait shit around. It's fucking garbage, man. I don't understand how people can watch this and think it's real. It's not real. None of it's fucking true. It's just all this hyped up crap that they do so they can please the algorithm. Clickbait thumbnails, clickbait titles, pump in more views. Oh yeah, cashing on that fucking excitement. It's not real, people. Fuck. It's trash content. Come on. You know, it's like I would I I I I know I shouldn't expect for people to all uphold themselves to some godly standard, but fuck me. It's just like a really scummy thing to do to just Ugh! I'm getting irrationally angry. Gotta stop. Chill out. Just be mad at war paints instead. It's easier just to do that fucking shit. Fuck me. Hey, don't get me wrong. You can watch whatever it is the fuck you want to watch. I just don't. I, I personally cannot stand that type of content where it just, you know, falls to the lowest common denominator. Bottom of the barrel crap. You know, baiting in people for views with disingenuous titles and shitty content. Nothing of substance statements. All largely amounting to absolutely fucking nothing. And all they're doing is playing on the heartstrings of people that have been absolutely desperate for any kind of information about the video game they love. I can't fucking stand it. It's 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 just the worst possible thing you can do for content. And I, I, I simply, I can't stand it. It's fucking horrible. Probably the main reason why I made this video in the first place is just so I could fucking whine about this and also give my two cents and some fresher perspective about the whole Gabe Newell thing. It's like, for, for, I'm, I'm fucking talking about this in post now. I'm fucking editing this right now. Fuck. And I'm going back to talk about it more. God damn it. Fuck. <sighs> Fuck. But hey, end on a high note. Be hopeful that Valve is still working on Team Fortress 2, that we can continue to expect updates coming to the game, and that they might have a solution for the bots. Beyond that, beyond the bare bones words that Gabe Newell just recently said, nothing else has been confirmed, we know jack shit. Same song and dance that we've been doing every fucking day for the past 20 years. Beyond that, anything anyone else says about what's coming to the game or what they think is going to be added or when it's going to happen should be taken with abnormally large grains of salt. That's it.